Gentle cuts. I'm recording this video today. What was going to be an update, but now it's going to be a tea chunk video because I don't know how long this video will be. But I have a message for you all. Now, I have seen tweets from my followers. Not all of them, but one or two, saying that when G4 ends, they are just going to quit and not watch My Little Pony anymore. But what I'm going to do is I am when Generation 5 comes, I am going to watch it. I'm going to give it a trial, not just an episode but a season. I'm going to give it a season trial because who knows it could be good, it could be very good, it could be beautifully animated, it could be suspense, adventure like it was back in you know like it is now or yes I know it for some of you it could be to G3 but I like G3, I like it because there are very quirky characters on G3, like uh, Razaru. Yes, yes, yes. Minty with making socks. Uh, who else? Kimono. My point is, all the ponies you know of now come from past generations. Like in Bomb Bomb. She was a generation one pony from My Little Pony Tales. My Little Pony Tales where they're in a human like world and they attend a school Similar to Cheerley's school, but more like high school. And for end of class sessions, they they hang out in a bakery. You know, like a bakery or milk milkshake bar. You know, they have they have milkshakes and cookies and cakes and all that just to you know have a wind down, have a relaxing day after studying. We have Sweetie Belle, who is a G3 pony. Hasn't changed a lot. Hasn't changed a lot. No, hasn't changed. She is in her original form, original colours. And she's fine, apart from she doesn't make uh, <laughs> cakes anymore. She now sings and tries to become like Rarity, her sister. And ironically, speaking of Rarity, she is a G3 pony. Now, I thought she was a G1, but because the G1, which I thought was Rarity, had Rarity's colors, you know, purple mane and white fur, but she was called Sparkler. So I don't think that counts of her being a G1 pony. So instead she is a G3 pony on Runaway Rainbow, I believe. I guess who she's voiced by. That's right, Kathy Westlock, who voices the current Spike and has a crush on the modern today's rarity. So it's basically a character having a crush on her on her old character. Uh, Moon Dancer is a G1 pony on My Little Pony and Friends, but as a baby pony. Baby Moon Dancer. I could name a lot of connections with the whole history of. My Little Pony, but I just don't want to bore you. Because I thought, 
We get it! Move on! That sort of thing, you know? <laughs> I don't know how G5 is going to be like. Because, I mean, like I said, it could be good. It could be very good. It could have its adventures like it has now. You know? Dark moments, adventurous moments, suspense, fallouts. Well, not fallouts, but bicker bickering. Or it could turn out to be a complete flop. But yeah, you have. It's it's like trying new food, really. What I'm saying is, for those of you who will not be watching My Little Pony when G4 ends, it's not like I'm forcing you to not watch G5 because you have a choice. It's a free world, and you can do whatever you want. But for me. I'm going to give it a ch I'm going to give it a chance because the way I see animation these days is a complete meltdown absolute meltdown because <sighs> the facial expressions for for one it's like I can give an example SpongeBob SquarePants where they have weird facial expressions like a circle mouth with a sort of tongue that gets passed on to other shows that were ridiculous like Adventure Time The Amazing World of Gumball to name a few and even yes even the new Disney shorts have been affected the new Disney Mickey Mouse comic shorts they've got them faces for some reason and their design is not the best the Looney Tunes have been affected I mean I've followed and I'm still a Looney Tune fan inside, but the Termite Terrace Looney Tunes, the, the the Termite Terrace era of the Looney Tunes from 1930 to 1969. Since Looney Tunes back in action, those were the warning signs that the Looney Tunes were just going to get the nuclear bomb. And that Warner Brothers don't care about their the show that made them who they are anymore. Like I see shows like oh my goodness me, uh, Lunatics Unleashed. I mean, what? What? If you've seen that show, you'll know. Okay. I don't want to describe it. It's just basically Bugs, Daffy, Taz. Sylvester, Wiley, trying to be Batman, really. Bugs with his really pointy ears, kind of like razor sharp, being tall. Daffy with his pointy beak, you know, it's no, no, no. Then came the Looney Tunes show, which I've seen and turned out to be pointless slapstick. You know, like, I don't know, Elmer doing like a weird dance on just wearing his underwear. And. <sighs> Bugs driving his convertible while on a cell phone, driving. No. And then there's uh, Wabbit Season, which is kind of like the same deal with the Looney Tunes show. Completely ruined. Badly voiced. Badly 
designed characters and yeah it was just they they have been destroyed out of oh uh 40 years of termite terrace the work in that completely down the drain completely down the drain absolutely but as for now back to the G5 I know for sure that Terra Strong may not be in the new one anymore because I don't think Hasbro will afford to pay her because as you know Terra is a big name in voice work she is a big name she has voiced so many iconic characters I swear she is the female Mel Blanc of animation a girl of a thousand voices so I think we could see some new VAs on the next generation or we could see we could see VAs of G4 that started when they were little kids like Michelle Krieber, Claire Corlett and Maddie Peters become new characters like Flurry Heart maybe possibly but will she become Flurry Heart as she is now an alicorn or will they change her into a new breed of pony because that tends to that tends to happen like why do you think Fluttershy is a weak flyer why do you think she prefers to keep her hooves on the ground because she was referenced by Posey she was Posey and she was a G1 pony in My Little Pony in France. Same main, same main colour, same fur. Not talking to animals, but talking to plants and objects. How does my garden grow? The same thing happened with Scoodaloo. She was originally an earth pony, which is why she can't fly. She can't fly now and is well and is known for her scooter because she is an earth pony from generation three. I'm going to give generation five a shot when it comes out, possibly either 2020 or 2021 but the thing is it's it's kind of disappointing that generation 4 well the writers basically didn't decide to keep generation 4 lo a while longer because if it would have stuck around by 2020 it would have celebrated 10 years since it first came out since it was first introduced but unfortunately it's got the G3 treatment where it ended in 2009 and became generation 4 in 2010 so now we are enter we are about to enter the next page and chapter of my little pony we just have to be ready for it i know i will be i know i know a friend of mine who will be i did i did mention him a few times in my videos but he, he knows who he is if he's watching this so 
yeah that's my message I will stick by my little pony and if I like G5 great more episodes to look forward to and more <laughs> more franchise to collect you know? and to make my point this is of course, as you know G4 right well, oh, next to it, there, here, there, if, you know, if I, if I still live here, that is, that will be right next to it. A poster of the G5 ponies will be right there, if I still live here. That, I can't predict the future, I'm not Doctor Who. <laughs> so... So on the behalf of me, Luna, and Tinker Tinker too, thanks for watching.